everybody welcome back to my channel um so today i wanted to do another holiday makeup look i have i just hauled this i'll link the haul up in the corner i think it's this corner um but i just got this new covergirl smoky eye shadow palette so i really wanted to give that a try um and i also got a few other new things that i want to try out more um so yeah i'm just gonna hop right into it the last one was super long hopefully this one won't be quite as long so let's just get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clip back my hair because it's nice and curly and big and in the way. Well, it's not a very cute look. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm gonna start by prepping my skin. I have some uh, essential oils I'm gonna use. So I have a little bit of tea tree. This is jojoba and rosehip oil. So I'm just gonna do a couple drops of each right on my face. Tyler's gonna link every one of these videos. Hopefully you guys don't mind. He's so cute, so I doubt you mind. So just a little bit of oil. I do have very dry skin, so that's the reason I use oil on my face. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna go for, yeah, I'm just gonna use my Master Prime again, like normal, this is my favorite primer. So, get a nice good dial up of that. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyes first, like I did last time. So once again, I'm going to prep my eyes. Actually, I'm gonna prep my eyes with just a little bit of concealer. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me to prep my eyelids. This might not work if you have like really oily eyelids, but works for me. So then I'm gonna go in to the CoverGirl palette and with a big, if I can get her open. Um, with a nice big brush, I'm gonna go on this shade right here on the end and just set that down. These are kind of dusty, so I'm gonna be careful to tap this off. Yeah, these are like really dusty, so just be careful. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and this gray color here, this matte gray. I'm just gonna start working that to the crease, hopefully lightly. These seem really pigmented, so. I just clean my brushes. I know I usually use brown shadows, but I just cleaned these, so it should be good. So this is gonna be a really simple, easy, smoky eye, hopefully. I'm just planning on using like three or four shades, which is, for me, a great place to start, because I don't usually do smoky eyes. Okay, so far so good. Those are actually blending really, really well. I'm very excited about that. Um, I'm gonna stick actually with the same brush and go into this matte black and just kind of deepen up the outer corners. It looks like so far okay so actually I'm gonna stay in this palette and I'm going to take this really nice packing brush and with this silver shimmery shade I'm just gonna pack that oh my god I'm gonna break this pack that onto like uh, the lid I'm not gonna go too far into the corner because I'm gonna do an even lighter color in there Okay, and then on the same brush, just on the other side, I'm gonna use this white. It's kind of like a shimmery color. I think I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm just gonna use some Maria Badescu spray. And I'm just gonna go kind of in the inner corner with that. 
Just kind of lighten that all up in there. Okay, and then with this a clean brush, I'm just gonna blend this all together. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I just wanna see where I am, sort of, how it's looking. That's how it's looking so far. I still want like, I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something. I'm just not sure what I wanna go for yet. Ooh, I know what I wanna do, here we go. So I'm gonna take um, my L'Oreal Infallible Shadow an ice latte. That's what I'm gonna use. Just to brighten it all up, it just seems a little bit dark for me. So I'm gonna use that same shader brush. Hopefully this will just give me a little bit more of that sparkle that I'm looking for. I'm gonna wet this brush again. I think that looks a lot better now. So I'm gonna blend, so I'm gonna take my first brush and just clean it off really quick and then take that first gray color and kind of just re-deepen it up and make it all look a little bit darker again now that I put so many glitter shades on. So I'm gonna go back in with this first gray shade. Just kind of make sure everything's all nice and blended after I did that. So those are the eyes, so far. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a little makeup wipe and um, clean up the edges a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm going to try uh, this L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation. Um, hopefully it gives me enough coverage. I've not tried it yet, obviously, so we're gonna see how this works. So I'm gonna use a little puff that it comes with. Hopefully this is the right color too. I mean, I tried it yesterday on my neck just to see, but I think this should be the right color. Oh yeah, that looks like a good match, okay really quick before I get too far into this. I'm just gonna wipe under my eyes too. I feel like I got some shadow there. I'm like having a little trouble with this thing. I'm just not sure exactly the best way to use it. Okay, so that's layer number one. I think it's a good match. It feels really good on my skin, but I think I'm gonna go in and try to do it with my sponge, just because I think I'm gonna be a little bit more comfortable that way. So I'm just gonna dip my sponge right into the compact. And just do it that way. Oh yeah, this is much easier for me. I'm just so used to my sponge now, but it's hard to switch. Okay. Wow, I'm actually really happy with the way that looks on my skin. Um, very luminous. If you have oily skin, you probably would hate this. I'm sure you've heard that a million times by now, but I totally agree. It's definitely like a very dewy, luminous foundation. It lives up to its name. So I'm gonna use my normal concealers. So I'm gonna put the uh, Maybelline Age Rewind under my eyes and let it sit for a second while I do my other concealer. This seems to work the best for me if I let it sit for a second. Really warm up to the skin. Okay, 
I'm gonna um, spot conceal just a few things. I have a couple little red marks with um, my Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer. This one just happens to match my skin tone the best. I'm just gonna use my sponge again. Okay, and then I'm gonna highlight my face with my Maybelline Fit Me. Okay, and I'm gonna use a couple cream products really quick before we set the face. So I'm gonna go in first with my e.l.f. cream blush. You already know I'm obsessed with this stuff, so. And then I'm also gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution highlighter and champagne obsessed with this stuff. I used it last time before I shot my haul video, which I will also link up in here. I might have already linked it. I can't remember now. But anyway, um, I used it before then and it's just amazing. I'm obsessed. Now I'm going to set my face down and I'm going to use, oh my gosh, I need to reorganize my drawer. It is very full. I'm going to use my Fit Me powder, loose powder. Love this stuff. I think I'm going to finish up the face before I move back on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to use but this Butter Bronzer to contour um, and warm up my face. I think I'm just going to use this nice little fluffy brush. I'm going to kind of pinch it to get in that contour a little bit and then... For blush, I think I'm going to go with um, this It Cosmetics. It's a ombre blush, coral flush. <laughs> kind of rhymes. So with this one, I like to kind of um, I'm gonna use this brush, and I kind of like to stick up to this top part because it's very, very pigmented. So you have to be kind of careful, <laughs> or else you'll, you know, look a little crazy. But it's beautiful color. Oh, I already got too much on me. Woo. Okay, I'm just gonna take my powder brush really quick and just kind of try to blend that out a little bit. I want a little ham. Told you it's very pigmented. That looks a little better. <laughs> it's just a, it's a pigmented blush. You do not need a lot of it, let me tell you. And then for highlight today, I'm gonna try out um, I got this little sample of Becca's highlighter whoops, in Opal. So I'm gonna try that out today on top of my um, liquid highlight. Cause I love Champagne Pop, but I've always been curious about Opal too, so. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's a pretty color, I like it. Might be a little dark for me right at this moment. Probably a better summer one. 
and it's pretty. I'm also going to take actually no. Okay, so that is pretty much that is pretty much the face done. So I'm gonna go back to the lower lash line really quick. So back in the CoverGirl palette, I'm gonna take that first gray color and this little teeny brush and kind of run that along the lower lash line. So with the pencil brush, I'm gonna go back in with this black color and just really lightly on the outside corner, just kind of deep it up the outer corner. Okay, and then with this little detailer brush, I'm actually gonna go into Opal, the highlighter I used on my face. And I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner and on the upper, and on the, underneath the brow bone, or on the brow bone. I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush and just quickly run along the lash line. Okay, almost there. So I'm gonna take um, this angle brush, it's like an angle eyeliner brush, and just get it a little wet, and I'm gonna actually use that black color to create kind of like a soft wing sort of effect. This is a really good trick if you're bad with like wing liner and liquid liner and stuff. I like to just use the shadow a little wet and I create just like a really soft wing that way. Okay, so that is the eyes done. I will pull you closer um, at the end when everything is done. So I'm gonna go to the brows next. And I'm just gonna use my normal brow stuff. I'm gonna use my NYX professional, professional powder, oops, upside down, brow pencil, and my Make Me Brow. I'm gonna set it all down with my all nighter, if I can get right. <laughs> and just fan that down once I spray it on. So I did buy a darker mascara, but I don't wanna open it quite yet. So, cause I don't wanna have too many mascaras open. So I'm gonna use my normal voluminous mascara. And I'm going to do this on the top and bottom lashes. Oh 
shoot. <laughs> I'll fix that in a second. So I know I should just wait, but I'm gonna be bad and see if I can just flick this off. Nope, okay. Makeup wipe it is, I will fix. I'm just gonna take my sponge. It still has a little bit of foundation left on it. All right, and then the last step is going to be lipstick. So I'm gonna use um, this new, well, it's not new, it's new to me, L'Oreal Infallible Paints. It's in the color 314 Spicy Blush. Actually, I'm gonna line my lips really quick first. Hopefully my lip liner. Yeah. So I'm gonna line, line my lips with a L'Oreal Color Riche pencil in Au Naturel. Oh, come on. This is like my favorite lip liner, it's great. Now I'm gonna go on with the L'Oreal Infallible. So, all right, that is the completed makeup look. I'm really happy with it, actually. I love the, like, not too dark, smoky eyes. It's still, like, you could wear this to, like, a family event and it would be okay. You wouldn't look, like, crazy at all. I don't think, personally, I would rock this anywhere. Um, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please like it, subscribe, leave comments, you know, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next adventure. Bye.